So this is kind of a dumb question, I know, but why is it important to avoid these injuries? You wanna know? Because it hurts, that's a great answer. Because it hurts, so yeah, you don't wanna get, you don't wanna have injuries because they hurt. But also, injuries and inflammatory conditions like tendonitis set you up for the onset of arthritis. So, when you have an injury, should you wait and see if it just magically goes away, or should you at least get it evaluated? In most cases, we're gonna say, if it's not gone real fast, you wanna go ahead and get it evaluated because otherwise we're leaning into the development of arthritis. Now, arthritis is just the word we use for degeneration. So that's where the cartilage becomes damaged over time, the joint space itself shrinks, the meniscus even can shrink, you can build up bone spurs. And again, it's a little bit hard to visualize that, so we're gonna go with the video. I love, I love the videos, you just, you can tell much more easily what's going on. White surfaces here are cartilage. You got the nice chunky meniscus there in between. That's a healthy looking knee. As it starts to get more arthritic though, things start to change with the cartilage. So here we go, nice smooth operating knee. That's what it looks like when you're actually moving your knee. Lots of sliding parts and pieces, right? As we start to come around, we're looking at arthritic degenerative change, and you're gonna see it happen first in the cartilage. We start to get some of these cracks, these fissures. It starts to thin. The meniscus itself starts to even get more thin as well. That oftentimes progresses even further to where you can have full cartilage loss. So now you just have the bone surface, and the bones will even, the, that joint space shrinks, and now, when you move it, instead of that nice smooth motion that you're supposed to get, it looks more like this. It grinds, it crunches, it clicks, it pops, and you can even start to develop bone spurs in areas where you're not really supposed to have them. That's the body's effort to try and stabilize the knee. It doesn't really know what else to do with it, but that's a part of that degenerative process. Okay, you can see this on x-ray. You can't see the actual cartilage, but you can watch that space shrink and you can watch those bone spurs grow also. So an x-ray a lot of times is gonna be our first step to look at the ability, the capability of the knee. Okay, questions on arthritis? Is there any um, way to replace or regenerate the meniscus or the cartilage? There is, yes. There's, there's a few things that we have some early evidence that work quite well um, in most cases, you're going to at least try and preserve what you have left. If you know you've got an arthritic knee, you want to try and keep it from getting any worse. And there's a lot of things you can do for that. There's a couple of things you can do that have regenerative capacities for the knee in particular. And we're actually going to get into some of those when we get more into some of the treatments that are out there. Good question.